Um, uh, the first question is how do I spend my time? I try to spend my time as much as I can on the things that I believe will have long-lasting influence on our company. And uh, you know, as a CEO, it is, it, your time is, is um, not always yours. And so you need to have the discipline to make it yours. Uh, I'll often come into the office and, and tell my admin to clear my calendars just so that I can have that time back. Um, and uh, you know, oftentimes you, you also come to the conclusion that as a CEO, not sleeping is a good choice. That's always a good option. It, it creates more time when you don't sleep. Um, and so, so your training from school is, I, I think, very helpful here. Um, uh, but I think that, that uh, so I, I spend my time on things that I have long-lasting impact on the company. One area is product planning, strategy planning. Um, it also happens to be an area that I enjoy a great deal. Um, I enjoy talking to customers. Purpose of selling our products, clearly, um, but also hearing what's wrong with our products. You know, the thing that I, you, you, people will hear me go right to, uh, right away, is what are we doing wrong? And so, um, and the goal for that is, is obviously by understanding what's wrong with our company and what's wrong with our product, I can come back and fix it. And those are, those are uh, rather engineering behavior. The perpetual desire to fix things is a bit of an engineer's, engineer's habit, okay? And so I think that that's, that's a fine, fine thing to do. Your company is constantly, you know, a fixer-upper, if you will. <laughs> and so, uh, so that, I think that's a good, good, uh, good habit to have. Um, then the rest of the time, you're communicating with your employees. I spend a lot of time talking to our employees. People are surprised how much time I spend eating in the cafeteria, you know, whether it's lunch or dinner. Um, people are surprised that, that uh, how much I spend in, in, uh, in, um, in meetings of all kinds uh, with, with all the employees. And the reason for that ultimately is I need to come back to my number one job function and what I believe is the most important responsibility I have, which is to be the custodian of the culture. And if you want to be the custodian of the culture, you can't do it um, by, through CNN. You can't do it uh, by uh, Forbes mag magazine articles. You have to do it one person at a time, unfortunately, um, or, or you know, large crowds at a time. And so I spend my time that way. In terms of competition, um, some of the competition is rather obvious. Uh, but I think the, the most challenging thing about any company, any large company, is we don't know what we don't know. That is, in fact, the most troubling of all. In terms of the obvious competitors, uh, Intel is a competitor of ours. Sony is a competitor of ours. Uh, ATI in Canada is a competitor of ours. Um, we have competition from all over the world still. Uh, in, the market, in the market footprint that we have, uh, it's uh, approximately a $10 billion market. Uh, and my sense is that we you know, have about 20 25% of that market. And so uh, what, what we need to figure out a way to do simultaneously, as, as, the, as the irony has it, you want to simultaneously discover a larger market footprint, therefore reducing your market share, while re increasing your market share. And so that constant discovery of expanding your market footprint while capturing uh, market share through competitive products is, uh, is a 24-hour job, and it's, it's fun. Uh, so that answer. And in terms of uh, what I don't know, my, my, odd, my odds are, if I were to place a bet, um, the company that will hurt us are likely the people that are still in school today. And they're the ideas that haven't been discovered. Or a change in fad, or a change in fashion, or a change in the way people do things around the world. You know, the day that people no longer care about computers is a pretty desperate day for us. Uh, the day that, that uh, nobody care about interactivity is a real problem for us. Um, you know, the day that, that everybody just wants to talk on their cell phone and, and chat on instant messaging, well, it's a, that's a pretty desperate day for all of us, but, but it would be a pretty, de <laughs> pretty desperate day for me, too.